What is up guys, Rick Kakis here, and Bungie has just released a brand new trailer for the upcoming Curse of Osiris expansion. This one in particular being a teaser for tomorrow's Bungie livestream, which is going to detail a bunch of information about the Curse of Osiris DLC. Now this trailer, we're going to watch it in full, it's around 30-40 seconds long, and then we're going to break down everything new showcased within it, because there was some brand new, never before seen, gameplay and weaponry and so on within this teaser trailer. And so, let's get started. There's been a development on Mercury. And you think Osiris might be involved? I predicted many things, but I never saw you. And so, there you have it. Now, let's break it down. In the first few seconds, a cool detail that I thought I would point out is that you can actually still see the Almighty, the main war machine used in the original Destiny campaign near the sun here. Now, this is interesting because chronologically, this may make some people wonder, well, when does this come up? But it does make sense that this is not completely blown up. That's just, you know, defunct. It can't be utilized, but it's still there. And maybe we can go back to a shut down Almighty during one of the campaign missions. That would be very cool. Now moving on from there, we have some story exposition with Ikora and some stuff that we've really already seen. And then we have this part of the trailer with three guardians running up the side of some sort of structure on Mercury. And all three of them are using very interesting weapons. The one in the very front very much appears to be using the Vexified Hand Cannon shown here that we've already seen in other promotional material. Now at first glance, I thought that the Middle Guardian was also using one of those weapons, but on closer inspection, he's using something really interesting. His weapon doesn't match any of the current Vexified weapons. None of them have a shape that accurately matches the weapon we're seeing here. The closest one is the Vexified Scout Rifle with a completely different sight, which is possible, but even then it isn't a perfect match. Now, a weapon that does match what we're seeing here is the No Time To Explain Exotic Pulse Rifle from Destiny 1. This was a very unique weapon that does have some Vex inspiration. To get the exotic version, you had to do a mission on Venus and deal with the Vex quite a bit. The Exo Stranger was kind of from the future, could time travel within Destiny 1, it was presumed, and that gives her a lot of Vex connections, evidently. So, that weapon making its first reappearance in Destiny 2 is very, very possible. And you saw from the side-by-side, -side, there are some definite similarities. So, I would watch out for either that weapon reintroduced or a more Vexified, changed version of that weapon reintroduced. That's a very cool possibility. The third Guardian is using a sword. If you look a little closer, it does have a cool, unique design, but there was some very cool looking swords in Destiny 2 right now. None of them are exotic, so I'm not sure what to think here. But if all three of them are using Vexified weapon, that does confirm that this is a Vexified sword. That's very cool. But of course, we don't know for sure. Now, the very next part of the trailer showcases a lot more clearly what seems to be a brand new exotic weapon coming to Destiny 2. 
this green grenade launcher here. Now it being green, it having a very unique look and if you look at the ammunition that looks very unique as well, the loading system and of course the projectiles it shoots as well turn out to explode with a green mist. This all screams exotic. It's very unlikely that just a random legendary grenade launcher would look the way this looks and shoot different colored projectiles that have unique animations when they explode, right? So this is really interesting. Now what does this exotic weapon do? What's its exotic perks? Well, from the footage, unfortunately, I have no idea. All we know is that it's green, it looks cool, and it's a grenade launcher. Let's call it the Shrek launcher for now. Moving on from there. We have a cool new look at the lighthouse within Mercury. Remember that the lighthouse is confirmed to be a social space within this expansion. Now this is a very different looking lighthouse. We have Brother Vance, which seems to be standing in the middle and the whole place is blacked out. This is unusual. We usually have, you know, Mercury outside of essentially a window. Well, in the very next scene, we see the shutters going down essentially and it explodes exposing the usual sight line that we have within the lighthouse. So that's kind of a cool feature, I guess, that these can go up and down, but it gives us an idea of what it'll look like within Destiny 2. By the way, the warlock in this scene, if we look closely, is again using the pulse rifle that appears to be the no time to explain. Now, if you're thinking, well, maybe that's just a vexified pulse rifle, this one here from other promotional materials is just that. That's a completely different looking pulse rifle that is vexified. So why would there be two pulse rifles for presumably the same raid activity? That doesn't make sense. One of these is unique and it probably is the one that looks almost exactly like an exotic. Next up, we see three guardians running towards a very cool vex gate. Now the one on the right, the hunter, on his back is using a very interesting weapon. This weapon looks like a very unique shotgun and could indeed be exotic. We actually got another look at this weapon in this screenshot here from the first Curse of Osiris trailer. We didn't really get much of a look at this weapon aside from that screenshot. So this new screenshot with the hunter gives us another angle at this weapon and it very much does look like a new shotgun. Now, right after that, bam, we have Osiris without his bird mask on. This is ya boy. This is Osiris himself, the normal look at his face. And well, this, there it is. Interesting to see that they're showing this this early, but I suppose he's probably not gonna be with that face mask for very long if he's actually talking to you. That would be a little weird. And so that is it for everything I could find within this new teaser trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this interesting. If you have found anything new, leave it in the comments section down below. Now, if you guys want to see more Destiny 2 content similar to this, don't be afraid to slap that subscribe button. Now, if you guys want to get in touch with me and keep up to date with the latest channel activity, the best way is to follow me on Twitter at Rick Kakis. That's linked in the description down below, as is my Twitch channel, which you can also follow. Again, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, have a good day.